Thank you, Luis. The death of a toddler in California has people asking where to place blame. Investigators in Woodland say the two-year-old was hit by a truck at a gas station and that a three-year-old was the one behind the wheel of that truck. Marisela de la Cruz has details on what police say happened. Two days since two-year-old Elani Sanchez Martinez was hit and killed at a gas station off West Street in Woodland. Yo le pido a Dios que me dé muchas fuerzas. Her father, Sandro Sanchez Rosa, says he's asking God for strength as he tries to process the death of his only daughter. Sandro and his family were setting up their taco truck at a gas station when another driver parked his truck and left it running by a gas pump as he went inside the store, leaving a three-year-old child in that vehicle. Today, Woodland investigators determined that the three-year-old was behind the wheel during the crash. While they were inside, a uh, three-year-old child that was in a car safety seat in the back of the vehicle uh, got out of their safety seat somehow. And then the vehicle started moving and rolled into the location that it collided with the toddler. As of now, no charges have been filed. An unfair move, says Sandro, as he sits with photos and belongings of Ailani. He doesn't believe that leaving a car running with a minor inside should be deemed an accident. As he asks for justice, law professor Michael Vitello tells KCRA that tragedies like these tend to be contentious. That's a freakish accident. We don't put people in prison for freakish accidents. Yes, there's real harm, but that's what the tort system does. It compensates innocent victims. Putting someone in prison does not help the family who has lost a child. And as a community tries to make sense of the accident. Just a little split second of disregard could cost the life of a young kid. Many are coming together to support the grieving family. Today, another food truck owner is donating all their earnings to help the family during this tragedy. Any money or any kind of financial thing right now is, is not probably not the best solution, but at least it's a little help towards the funeral.